Breast cancer, like other forms of cancer, has the potential to spread beyond its original site. This process, known as metastasis, is a significant concern for patients and healthcare providers alike. Today, I'm going to explore the ways by which breast cancer spreads, the pathways it uses, common sites of metastasis, the cellular processes involved, and what it means for staging and treatment. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha, here to help you navigate the world of health in general and breast health specifically. So, how does breast cancer spread? Well, breast cancer can spread through three primary mechanisms. Direct invasion. This is when the cancer cells invade the surrounding tissues directly. This local invasion allows the tumour to grow into nearby structures such as the chest wall or skin. The lymphatic system. This system is a common route for breast cancer metastasis. Tumour cells can enter the lymphatic vessels near the primary tumour and travel to nearby lymph nodes, often under the arm, known as the axillary lymph nodes or armpit nodes, but also potentially to nodes in the chest or the collarbone area. Then there's the bloodstream. So cancer cells can enter blood vessels and circulate through the bloodstream. This hematogenous spread allows cancer cells to lodge in capillaries of distant organs, such as the liver, lungs, as well as bones. So what enable cancer cells to spread to other parts of the body? At the cellular level, the process of spread is actually quite complex and it is a multi-step process. So first, there is detachment and invasion. What happens is that cancer cells will break away from the primary tumor. And this detachment is helped by changes in the cell adhesion molecules such as e cadherin which normally keep cells bound together. And tumor cells also secrete enzymes like matrix metalloproteinases, or MMPs, that degrade the extracellular matrix, allowing them to invade surrounding tissues. Then there is introvisation. So once they detach from the primary site, cancer cells can then enter nearby blood or lymphatic vessels. And they achieve this by penetrating the vessel walls a process that involves further breakdown of the extracellular matrix and interactions with the endothelial cells lining the vessels. Now we go to circulation, because once in the bloodstream, cancer cells must survive the sheer stress and immune surveillance. They may travel as single cells or clusters, sometimes protected by platelets that shield them from the immune system. Then we have extravasation. Cancer cells exit the bloodstream or lymphatic vessels at distant sites. And this involves attaching to the vessel walls, penetrating the endothelial barrier and invading the surrounding tissue. And then lastly, there is colonization. At the new site, cancer cells, they have to establish a microenvironment conducive to their growth. And this involves angiogenesis, which is formation of new blood vessels, evasion of the local immune response, as well as interaction with the surrounding stroma or the supportive tissue. And this is how cancer cells from the primary site can then end up in distant sites. And breast cancer commonly metastasizes to these following sites. It can go to the bone, and if it's affected, it can lead to pain and fractures. It can go to the liver, which can cause jaundice and liver dysfunction. They can travel to the lungs, which may result in breathing difficulties and chest pain. Another site it can go to is the brain, and this can cause neurological symptoms like headaches, seizures, and cognitive impairment. A common question I get asked is what is staging? And essentially staging in breast cancer refers to the extent of cancer spread and is crucial for determining treatment and prognosis. And the stages ranges from one to stage four. So stage one is when the cancer is confined to the breast and it's usually small. Stage two is when the cancer may have spread to nearby lymph nodes, but not to distant sites. Stage three is where there is more extensive involvement of nearby lymph nodes or direct extension to surrounding tissues. And lastly, there is stage four cancer. And this is where the cancer has spread to distant organs, also known as metastatic breast cancer. Now, can stage four breast cancer be cured? Stage four breast cancer or metastatic breast cancer 
is generally considered incurable with current medical technology. However, it is treatable. And treatments aim to control the disease, to alleviate symptoms and prolong life. Advances in targeted therapies, hormone treatments, immunotherapies and chemotherapy have improved outcomes and quality of life for many patients. And the goal is often to manage cancer as a chronic condition, maintaining the best possible quality of life. Now, understanding how breast cancer spreads is essential for developing effective treatment strategies and improving patient outcomes. The spread of cancer involves intricate cellular mechanisms and multiple pathways with common sites of metastasis, including bone, liver, lungs, and brain. And staging provides a framework for assessing the extent of the disease and guiding treatment decisions. And while stage four breast cancer is not curable, ongoing advancements in medical treatments offer hope for better management and extended survival for those affected by this challenging condition. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video.